Happy Monday, everybody. I hope everybody has uh, woken up blessed and uh, just in a just in a good mood. I'm a little tired still. Just got out of the shower. Just woke up. It's the uh, start of the Pastors and Leaders Conference, and I've got to go straight to there. So just gonna kind of get ready to get shaved and uh, let me go through what I'm using real quick. Out of my uh, tanning container, the uh, ones that I showed you before, the uh, ball. Uh, I think they're half pints. Yep, the Grand Staff Holy Smokes version 2. I'm going to be using my MR5 with a Repair Platinum Lux as per usual. Smoke 1305. And since I'm going to be gone for a long time working non stop, I wanted a scent that would last, but that would be appealing to most in the group. And I was swayed by Ginger's Garden. Go ahead and start loading up. Hopefully there's not too much banging. Um, I grabbed a bore, a little longer bristles to hopefully prevent that. Um, really, I don't have, I'm working on putting together a little something on forgiveness. Um, and I had some stuff put together, but I left it at work yesterday. So that's gonna have to, uh, if I don't redo it on my own here at home, on uh, the next couple days, it'll uh, have to be picked up probably uh, Friday. But instead of today, I'm just going to talk about just how thankful I am for the ability that myself right now, I'm able to record a video speaking about God and I don't have to worry about the authorities. I don't have to worry about cops coming on my door, <clears throat> on my door, arresting me, killing me group of you know terrorists anti-christians coming in and doing that stuff you know in america yeah there is you know in my opinion a war on christianity but not a i use that term war very very gently um it's not a you know a combat war as in you know killing and stuff like that like we get in other countries like what isis is doing right now beheading christians things like that so now, do I believe that they want to bring the war here and kill us? Yes, but just want to make sure I, you guys understand that right. Good load. Go ahead and wet my face. Since I have it, I'm going to use it. Haven't haven't had any issues with this yet and but I just think of the other uh, other countries and you know if I were to be living in Iran China a lot of places in the Middle East right now what I'm doing right now, I couldn't do. I couldn't say what I want to say. So it just makes me thankful. Bowl filled up so I can just dip my hand in for water. Conference is gonna be I said gonna be a good time set up last night when I went. They had already gotten a lot done while I was at work, of course. Um, but there was still a lot to do. We were there till about eight o'clock. So I got there from about 3 30 to 8. Found out it's available online as well. Um, so if uh, if you are interested by the time this comes up. I'll be posting it from there, but uh, go to Calvary, uh, Google Calvary Tucson. Um, it's on Speedway Boulevard to make sure you get the right one because there's a Calvary Chapel Tucson. Um, but go to the Calvary Tucson website that's on Speedway Boulevard in Tucson, Arizona. And on there you will see um, a thing talking about our study of uh, Abraham for the Pastors Conference. And 
you'll be able to follow it online. Like I said, it's three days long. There's a schedule on there and everything. It breaks down who's going to be speaking. So I encourage you to give it a shot. Can't tell you exactly what to expect since this is my first time going. But it's a free chance to be fed. This Grand Staff soap is just, it's fantastic. Uh, can't say enough about it. Super slick. The scents. I only have the two, but I've, uh, I had a sample of another one. And I haven't used it yet. It's still Wake Up, but it smells really, really nice. That's what it's called, Wake Up. It's a very good scent. Um, this Holy Smokes, I've, I actually picked it because of uh, just the name Holy. Um, but it is it's just a wonderful soap. That's why I used it today, at least. It was last night after setting up. I said, what am I going to use? I knew I didn't want to spend too much time this morning planning things. I just wanted to get there to be as early as I could to help. So just like last night, I, you know, last night I picked a razor. It was a little harder to, you know, for me to use. Today I picked probably my easiest. By easiest, I just mean the one that I have to worry about the least. Other ones, I don't have to worry about cutting myself as much either, but I know this one, if I get in a little bit of a hurry, the MR5 or even the, uh, the double open comb by Phoenix or by Edwin Jagger, I don't need to worry about irritating my face too much before I'm about to be in public while I'm in a hurry. You know, I don't really have an issue with any of my razors, but I figure if I'm out of sorts a little bit this morning, take what I know works. Take something that, a soap that I know I have no issues with. You can see it lathers up like a dream. Take a razor I know I have no issues with and take a very good face feel type aftershave. I'll probably be using Ginger's Garden the rest of this, or the next three days. I just find it, it's very soothing. Not sure that others aren't. Now in the evening, I may refresh with something else. Um, just because I've got, uh, at least today, during uh, dinner break, my pastor and I are going to go try to hit the gym together. So during that time, I'll go ahead and uh, come back, shower, and probably reapply something. That's when I'll probably go for more of a traditional cologne. Just very smooth, slick. I shouldn't say smooth because never get my neck really smooth, but I just mean smooth performer. Um, real quick before I go to the next pass, the Samsung, I meant to do this at the beginning of the video. Uh, thanks to Jaime Kobos who also has one. He was able to direct me on what the fix is. If you look, there's a small little screw. That's how you take it apart and clean it. I had forgotten about that and that was over tight. Now that I've loosened it up, even with the blade in there, it'll move a little with the blade, but not much. Now you see it'll stay in place. So just an alignment issue. Kind of figured it was something simple.
I'll try to mention that in my next video as well, so that way if somebody didn't follow as long, they'll uh, follow this one all the way through. They'll uh, be aware of it and not avoid using it. I just ask that you pray for the conference. You know, it's uh, so there's about a thousand people coming, plus two hundred plus volunteers. So there's, you know, it's a good chance for these pastors and leaders to be fed by these special speakers, for the group of volunteers like myself to help them in any way we can for that purpose, so they can go back home and continue to feed their flocks. And for next year, it's uh, I found out this year that uh, it's open to anybody. One, you don't have to be a actual pastor and like that. I'm not. I was going to go on my own anyways. But they, uh, you don't have to be a Calvary uh, pastor at all. We have people from our church that just show up. We have people from the community from other areas that aren't affiliated with our church at all. And it's meant to be that way. It's just... It's an open invite. It does feel weird being out of my routine. I am so used to getting up, going about my day, my morning, coming back from the gym or whatever I'm doing, showering, and then shaving later. So it's got an interesting feeling for me. Let me quick check for touch-ups. I don't really expect to have many that I'll mess with. Kind of surprised way up here. Well, it can happen anywhere, especially when you're in a hurry. When I didn't get that one good enough, but got this one perfect. Beautiful shave. It's one of my better ones in quite a while. Get the cold water. you guys but I love that cold water just so nice after and I am so looking forward to a cup of coffee when I get there coffee shop will be open a little coffee for the volunteers too but I'll go get some you know nice little mixed coffee drink to start the day off ginger's garden of suede actually I'm gonna shake this up kind of Set on my shelf a little bit and it kind of settled the hair. I 
That's the only thing I've learned with the ginger garden is if they sit a little bit. Just gotta shake them. I'm sure it works with everything too. But uh, it's just a. Uh, it's a little more visual with theirs or with hers. Let me see if I've got a bottle real quick that's going to settle the hair. Hold on a sec. I've shaken them all recently, but. I kind of see here in the bottom. See a little white build up there. You shake it and it'll go away. It'll, you know, mix itself back up. But I'm sure other things are the same way. I usually shake things a little bit, but if it sits there a little while, any kind of liquid, just kind of give it a little toss and mix it up a little bit. But everybody, I gotta get going. Uh, like I said, please pray for us. Uh, it's gonna be a busy couple days um, for all those that are volunteering and helping put it on. And just pray for those that are in attendance that they be fed and uh, it helps them better lead their churches or whatever it is they do, whether it's a Bible study or just themselves and their families. So God bless everyone. I will uh, catch you tomorrow. It'll be about the same thing, probably pretty busy and fast. But uh, God bless everybody and I look forward to a wonderful day.